how to add fonts to a Mac. And in particular, go and use it in something like Photoshop. Now, first thing to do, just bring up the font book application. And I've actually got it already up there. So I'm just going to quickly go to Launchpad and just show you quickly. Just enter font and you can then see font book. Now, of course, you could add it here as well, just to make it simple, just to go down there and just right click, obviously, options and keep in dock if you want. Now, once you've actually got it open, then you can simply drag, and I'm just going to, that's one of the options. So I'm just going to go over here to lots of TTF files. These are graphic extras ones. You can find them on the graphic extras website. They're all decorative designs, but some approach can be used for like, obviously your standard fonts as well, like Arial, Vidana, etc. So just select that, and then simply just drag over and just add there. And you can see it quickly added, cubed just there. Another option, if you want to do that, you can see it's actually just added to the user section there. So just there. File and add fonts is another option. And then just say select arrows to. Again, depends what you've got. Obviously, you might have different fonts. Click open and then you can see it added there. And you can see a little preview as well. Right, once you've actually done that, once you've actually added it, I'm going to go to Photoshop now. And go to Photoshop and then go to the type tool and then hopefully they will be added very quickly yes there they are gx drops gx arrows and then there's cubes there so just obviously go and select the design you want the font set typeface and then just add the design there to obviously and then change the size you can actually say go over here and set it to 400 etc 4000 maybe that's a bit extreme and also what you can do once you've actually done that, you can click there. You can also change the color and all those sort of things, but you can also go to type and then convert to shape. So just quickly convert it to shape and then you just use it as a actual native like custom shape design and move it around. I personally find it a bit easier to use than maybe with type. So that's a quick way of another option for you. Just gonna remove that. And what you can do, just go over here to the type tool and window and glyphs and bring that up and then you can see the arrows in here as well so you can actually see the design so you see look there and think i like that design click there and just double click and then the design is added obviously at the current size and color to the photoshop document hope you found this of interest thank you much